Sometimes I'm an ass and I light things on fire. It's usually cause I'm hot or I'm hungry or I'm tired. But anytime I look into your eyes, well, I'm suddenly twice the morning everyone here we are again my name is michael walker and we are so very wrong about games today we're going to do some unboxing and then we're going to play a game as soon as i get all these windows that are not that's fine that's fine assuming my audio is okay everything is good so pursuit of happiness story behind this one is Artipia Games recently had a Kickstarter uh, for a big box. And when the pledge manager came up, upon closer inspection, there was no actual game. You got the big box and some expansions. And believe it or not, there was no way to add the base game to a pledge. So I contacted Artipia Games, and they were nice enough to send me a base game. So when the big box does should finally show up, we will be all set. So I'll show you what's in this. I got this because Butterfly, Blade, Butterfly Babe expressed some interest in playing the game of life. And the chances of me actually playing the game of life will be zero. But this is sort of like the gamer's game of life. It's sort of like game of life advanced. At least that's what I'm hoping it's going to be. So let me show you what's in the box and briefly explain how it's played because I haven't read the full rules just enough that I can actually talk about something here. And then I'll show you Spire's End, which I'm not sure how it plays, but the artwork is ridiculous good. Rule book, nice and big, only 15 pages. No quick ref on the back. Board, I'll open that up in a minute. So this is like a worker placement game where you're starting projects and doing said stuff. 
many different kinds of currency. These are your workers. You're going to have so many workers to play, and it's going to let's see if the board shows it without opening it. Then you have a certain stress level and an age. Here we go. Turn it this way. So here's your age. So not only is it your age, but it's also your uh, sort of like the turn track. And so it is possible to have more turns than the other players because they may pass away. And then you have your stress level down here. And certain actions are going to add stress or take away stress, and they're going to cause actions to cause more time or less time. And I thought that was interesting as well. Same with your short-term happiness. These The short-term happiness will uh, make projects cost more or less. So if you have some short, lots of short-term happiness, then you get to spend less resources to get you know, the projects. Less means they will cost more. So there are jobs, activities, projects, partners, much like the game of life, but hopefully not terrible. Like I said, workers, tokens, extra bags, always nice, and plenty of cards. And this game has tons of expansions, so if you ever get bored of, you know, what's in these... Uh, decks than there are or up team I don't want to say that it is a sign of whether a game is good or not but when a game has a lot of expansions usually companies don't throw away money on expansions unless there's demand for them so I haven't heard a lot of buzz about the pursuit of happiness but they've had a lot of expansions like I said and uh we're gonna play if you want to come on a uh, gaia project i'm I'll be more than happy to play with anyone that wants to hop on but i'm gonna play with four ai but if you want if you have the app and you want to play we will do that ah it's a cartoony style of artwork agreed i haven't had a chance to look too, through it too much it's not terrible I don't mind it too, too much. I think it's very accessible to, you know, because it's, I think it's more of a family game. So I think it's geared more towards that. So like I said, these are just the projects that I was talking about and the, you know, all the other works and apparently there's long, long-term projects and short-term projects and they work in different ways. So quite a few cards to start, so I can't see getting, you know, overly bored off the beginning. Like I said, not too much to show here. But I had it, so I thought I would wait and show it to you guys. Let us move on to the next one. So listen for that coming up sometime soon. I said there's money, friendship knowledge ideas all sorts of different ways to spend for all these things all right now this this i'm looking forward to i've read the rules it does do one thing that i'm not fond of and that's the fact that uh it doesn't have a rule book and the creator it's a self-published game and the creator did not put the rule book up on board game geek not a fan of that either and the rule book is sort of like part of the game you flip the cards and learn the rules that is not cool if you didn't like the artwork for pursuit of happiness i'm sure you're going to be happy about this at least i am So this is sort of like a choose your own adventure solo type board game plenty of 
cubes that you track armor and health and a bunch of different debuffs that you get while you play the game. These are the dice you're mainly rolling for attacking and defending and recouping. These are like funky key dice. I haven't had a chance to see how they work exactly, but I think you find different keys throughout the game and you roll to, you know, get different sort of combinations and then you have to sort of figure out. Anyway, more than we play. I think this is a game we're going to be playing on Twitch so we can all play along type thing. This is sort of a, uh, just a randomizer deck. So nothing too exciting here. I think you're just flipping a card and it tells you what attack that the, and the art gets a little nastier as the numbers go up because the attacks get a little nastier and then six, I guess, are probably crits. So you like shuffle that, draw a random attack from the monster. And look at the size of these cards. Oh my God. Okay, that's, I don't know if, let's get, let's uh, go back to our Pursuit of Happiness box here and grab a card. So there's a standard playing card and here's Spire's End cards. That's all of them, right? There's no, well, I suppose you can say that these are cards as well, but they are all that size. Check out this artwork, man. It is amazing. So this, it seems that this is upside down. Did it flip around? I thought I could hold it normally and it would be the right way up for the camera. I'll have to spin it around again or something, I guess. So that's the right way around now. Anyway, there we are. So you're going to have a deck of characters. One of these games where you're going to cycle through your different characters so you just have to accept that they're going to die when they die you draw a new one they also sort of have a like sort of death row at the end where they either give you like a buff or they bless you or or yes the there is going to be a uh, new kickstarter coming for you know the next sort of adventure so if you this looks familiar uh, interesting at all then you can check it out so what's going to happen is that you're going to turn the deck and it'll say, okay, you're fighting X and then you have this much health and this much armor. So when you take damage, you lose your armor first and then your health, unless, you know, a special attack says otherwise, and then you get to choose what attack you want down here. Now, the cool hook about that is that all of these, uh, can get a close up. You can see they all cost different numbers and that number is health. So you pay your health. And then you do the attack, you roll the D8 and how much damage it says, or, you know, different abilities you get. And then you're going to do a recoup phase after your attack. And then you're going to roll another die and you're going to get some health back, maybe zero. So there you go. I think it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it. But yeah, this art just is is my thing so this is something you can use to keep track of all the different debuffs this is the do i have this deck backwards yes so you begin here number one i think this is like i said the rule book oh i better be careful what here we go instructions navigation i better be careful what i show or flip up And then, like I said, the, I'm not, I'm not overly cool with this, not having a rule book. Like this is neat and useful, but stick to the script. All right. Board games, you get a rule book. You want a game to do well, you post your rule book on Board Game Geek so people can look into it. Plain and simple. Not going to, you know, split hairs about it. All right. Let's just take a quick glance at this because there's no spoilers at the beginning so you'll flip this up and like i said there'll be like a little story giant spire you know pops up you got to check it out you know relative you know leaves a letter says blah 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 you know don't go in there something 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 your quest is about to start 
bad things will happen if you don't do something. Then you come up to the door. And there's a uh, golem is there, but not golem. And uh, then you start making some choices. So that's that. Looking forward to giving that a try. Any questions about any of this before I put this all away and we switch over to Gaia Project? Love this though, right? So you're not, you know, digging in the box to get the cards. Except, you know, what's going to happen is that you're going to accidentally put the cards across the whole ribbon. So you won't be able to get to the stuff. Yeah, I'm the only thing I'm worried about so far is the fact that you're rolling D8 for everything. Is it going to be too random? You know, who knows? Time will tell. And I wish they, you don't want to rip off of other games, but, but Gloomhaven did such a cool thing with their randomizing deck. So you're doing something like this, give yourself some ability to modify this, like add cards to this, you know, random deck. See, it's just a, such a cool mechanism in Gloomhaven. More games need to start ripping it off. As you can't tell me that it's just not a standard mechanism now. All right, make sure some of the stuff gets back in the boxes. All right, let's switch this view here. All right, is there anyone that actually has Gaia Project that wants to join in today? Wait a few moments. Like I said, we have a podcast every week. So very wrong about games. Check it out. If you just dropped in here for no particular reason. All right. Local game. Make sure the settings aren't on. We want to choose our faction. We want to add. They're still kicking my butt. Don't make them all hard. Sure. And... I'm scared about this, you know, letting the AI cheat. Yeah, because there's, yeah, that seems odd, but it's interesting. Did someone already take red? I want to try the other red. All right, is this the one that starts with the base? Is that this one? No, it'll be this one. All right. I haven't tried this on the app yet, so. Is that right? Anyway, we'll play these guys, whatever they do. If it's not the actual one from the game, then. Yeah, do not place mines. Instead, you place your institute. Yep, all right. So these guys play totally differently. Everyone else usually starts with two mines. These guys start with their main building and then they spread out from that. They get uh, federations. They don't, uh, they don't uh, form separate ones. They form one giant one. And then as soon as you hit different thresholds of building numbers, then you get to put out tokens. So we'll take them and why do you, you just want me to confirm that I chose them? Sure. So Gaia Project, for those who have never played, it is 
sort of an engine builder. You are removing buildings off of your board here, and that will give you your income. So more mines that you put out, the more ore you'll get, the more trading houses you'll put out, the more money you'll get. Some factions, the board is slightly different, so it's not always like this. Uh, you put out schools, you get knowledge, universities, you get other stuff. Other factions usually have to work hard to get this main building out because it'll give you huge cycle and another ability but like i said we get to start with it out and that is pretty well our only ability do they have where are our threshold numbers probably under information yeah so it's for every seven so it goes 7 14 21 for every seven that we hit we get to film uh form another federation and now they want us to put out our main building. So we'll get rid of this. I said get rid of this. There we go. All right. I think we want it relatively centered. We're awfully far from everyone else, but we don't want to be way out here on the outside. We might as well put it here, right in the middle. Oh, I don't like how everyone's so far away. But at least we have this fairly close. And here's our little thing. So you can build. I uh, it's I know it's fun. So you can build on uh, your own home planet, which is up here. You can see our home planet are the is the is the dark red. And then the difficulty of us terraforming other planets or just building on other planets goes out from there. So we need one terraforming rating out here and then two and then three and then four and so on. So it gets harder as it goes out. And our terraforming rating is our, where's the tech? Here's their tech track, research track. So this is what's a little bit different than Terra Mystica, that this whole board is about 30 times better than the Terra Mystica board. So this sort of tells us the abilities that we start off with here. So we, uh, it's going to cost us three ore per terraforming, uh, level here. Our range from our planet's going to be one, but it can get better. Like all these tracks, we're going to move up here is just getting straight, getting QIC. This is getting, uh, being able to actually terraform the, uh, purple planets that were out there. This is increasing your uh, income every round, and this is increasing your knowledge every round. When you get, when you build the big, big old buildings and you get these tokens, you get to go up the tracks as well. And some of these are fairly useful. Other things we want to look at right now, before I forget, is the end of round. So every round, you'll see along here on the bottom, uh, there are bonuses that you're going to get and then at the end of the game there are two main bonuses so this is colonize the most Gaia planets this is owns the most structures and it'll track it throughout the game the game will last six turns in the first one every time we gain research we'll get two victory points up round two is upgrading to trading stations building mines on Gaia upgrading upgrading and placing mines in the last turn, which is lame, but whatever. All right. True, they can't block me, but we won't get uh, we won't get rotation. I love rotation. So what I'm talking about rotation is that when other people build buildings next to you, you get to earn these purple points here and you can have all these actions up here to spend purple points on and they are very useful so first of all you have to dump everything out of track three into track two and then once that's empty you can start dumping things into track one which where you can spend them from and then once they're spent from track one they all go back into track three and so the cycle continues and these are all very powerful uh, actions. You also get to do something where you can burn them out of track two. Like burn one out of track two out of the game lets you move one into track one. So that's another way to get them if you're just short one. 
Then there's these QIC actions, which are very useful, which we'll be using near the end of the game. This is like score a Federation token again, get an advanced tech, score other stuff. Let's get going. One more quick thing to show you. What do we want to look at? What are, the exchange. That's what I want to show. So at any time we can exchange stuff. Which is sometimes useful. All right. Placing our institute. Like we said, bam, in the middle. Confirm that. I wish there was... Ah, I keep meaning. Next time when I'm done this game, I'm going to go in and see if there's a way to toggle off confirming every single thing. All right. I'm going to put my headphones on just in case. There's some notifications or something that I'm missing. All right, when we at the beginning of the game and at the end of every every <clears throat> excuse me at the end of every round we get a sort of bonus token. What kind of bonus token do we want? I think. I don't know why we get to choose last? That doesn't seem fair. Um, let's see. This is for money and a victory point for every Gaia project we won't have. We won't be doing that. Although, wait, do we get four automatically because we have ours out? That might be a way to get some victory points. Interesting. All right, let's do that. We'll start getting some victory points. And four cycle is not terrible. Nope. All right. Let's start taking advantage of that look how far down black is the closest oh we got this one where we have one qic which we can use to get out to this planet these red ones aren't terrible either we'll probably push out to here and then have our one range there true the satellite action thank you for reminding me let's see here so we can put a an action token here which will allow us to put out a satellite which uh gives us one towards our federation and i believe we get to count we don't get to count uh range from that do we that would be sick all right well, i guess we can do that good thing i've got uh caraba here He'll, he'll keep me in line, I'm sure. Make sure I don't lose. All right. What does it want me to confirm? Confirm that I did something? Sure. Oh, probably confirm that I want that tab. Whatever. No, no. That was not... That was completely not sarcasm. I totally want... I Like I said... You are definitely going to keep me in line. This seems like it's something new. What is that? It looks like it's the tech track on the side. That was not there before. Interesting. I don't know why you'd want to. It is semi-important, but, you know, you all you had to do before was click here. I guess. Sure. So let's do that. Let's put out our satellite here so that way we don't have to spend our QIC to get out there let's do that I see. So they've, there's been a patch to this that I didn't see update because it's doing some new stuff like this stuff in the middle, which is nice. All right. So we should be able to put a mine. Ah, see, look, that is very helpful. So now we can put a mine here for f not so much for free. Let's bring up our so here's the cost of the buildings. So it's going to cost us one ore and two money to put it in a mine. And the 
trading house has different values here because if as long as you're within two of another another faction's building then it'll cost less otherwise it'll cost you six take a mana action oh true enough yes take uh use up oh, i've got six So let's take because these are these aren't my actions he wants we he's right we need to take this sooner rather than later or else because this is for everyone so if you don't get to these first they'll be gone so let's take hmm we are kind of low on ore let's get ore Yeah, I was thinking that too. We could terraform the planet. Like I said, I, I'm constantly losing with this, so let's, uh, I will go with, I will go with what you say. Let's do this one here, because it'll only cost one. So that gave us one terraforming, and we can see up here that it's only one level away from our home. So that's why we get to do it for the normal cost, because we paid power and then I'm wondering if we should so what do you think about uh, using our knowledge to get a terraforming rating because we do although we can take a quick look and see you know Within our turn, see this, they're going to take those two before we're going to get a chance. So I'm wondering if we should even bother going into terraforming. My only thought was get out here and get this one right away, and then we can start cycling power. Yes. Gaioforming. All right, so new action. Plus two, that'll get us out to there. And then now suddenly we're in range of more people. But then I think it might be a waste because we're gonna run out of planets and that'll be a waste of knowledge. Let's put another mine out. Oh, we can just put it straight up right there. It is one of the end goals as well. The other thing I like about the app is, no, there will be no streaming tomorrow. Mark is moving soon, and there's just too much to do. So there'll be no big stream this Saturday. Unfortunately, I apologize. So the good thing about this app is, the app is that I can click on something, and it'll tell me the cost. So, yes, because it's going to be out of range, and it's a green planet, so... It will use both of our QIC to go out here. Might be a good idea. Sorry that this particular turn has taken so long. So that you just don't want to get cut off. And then there is this way too. These are both good planets for us as well. I think as this race, we want to get range. So let's go up the range. Not only that, it gets us a QIC as well. Although, once again, we have three power, which we can use. All right. Let's do it. We will take this planet. It will cost us. All of our ore. 
and one QIC. I think I'm going to get us out there. Could be a terrible idea. We will find out. It is a steep cost, but like I said, we're going to get cut off if we don't start pushing out. Once we get out to here, then we start getting close to this red planet. We're safe back here. If we burn, no, we can't burn one. No problem, have fun at work. Let's get our knowledge. Start to go working towards our range. So the first step only gets us the QIC and then we go up one more step next, not probably not next round, but next time, then we can start reaching planets that are further away. We have a bunch of money, but no more ore. I really don't think we should exchange QIC for ore. Although if we do just one, we'll get another mine out. Although we could cycle our three power yeah, you're right. Let's do that. Has everyone else passed? Everyone else has not passed. They just want me to confirm. All right. So we are at Federation level, which is good. I don't see a reason not to do it. We are at an ore shortage. We are going to get three ore next round. Taking this one will give us two more. Other advantages would be knowledge. I see no. All right. Gonna take or. I think that's the best bet. Oh, it wants me to form the Federation. I see. One satellite here so normal satellites come out from your power everyone can use them at what links buildings together if they're not directly adjacent why is it showing a qic there Odd. All right, so Federation one done because we are at seven, three for our main building, four, five, six, seven, even the side, our, our faction satellite gives us one. So when we get to 14, then we can form another one. The other thing we should have looked at is 
what's available. So if we stay in the round, someone has passed. There was a way to, no, I think the robots have passed. So if we stay in the round long enough, we can get this extra range from the humans. The next question is, do we want the extra ore or do we want to put out a trading station? Can we put out a trading station? Too much money. No one is close enough yet. I think that would be a waste. Let us just pass, I think. Either way, we're getting ore, and I think we'll take the extra knowledge. There is something I am missing, I think, as in we have an income. I think we have a QIC income that I didn't realize, which is amazing. So it is now the next turn, and we don't have any available power, so there's no need to jump on that. We might as well push out to here with our satellite. So a lot of this game is just trying to stay in the round or trying to hold off, hoping people will upgrade and stuff that gets you power, which will let you do actions for less. and or get, you know, passing tokens that you actually want. This will cost us four ore because we have to terraform it, like I said. Or, or, <laughs> or we can wait and hopefully we'd have to cycle a ridiculous amount though. So I'm afraid at this point, it is our only option. Hello, Jose. And Angkor. Oh, it's Oh, it's you. Oh, hey. Playing some Gaia Project today. We did some unboxing. And now we're going to finish it off with some Gaia Project. And luckily, Karaba is doing his best to help me, but I'm still going to lose. I am sure of it. Got the AI cranked up to maximum. Plus two. We can jump over to here. That is robots. Although it's hard for him. There's no hurry on that. There's no way he's going to jump. Because it's hard for him to terraform it as well. These white planets are terrible for us. Do have two
Well, Deb can build it how she wants next time. All right. Next up is going to be... trade station because now we can build a trade station that is not ridiculously expensive now because it cost six before because we're so far away from everyone else now that we're close it only costs us three money Well, glad you're here, James. We'll see. This is a game called Gaia Project. It's uh, a little on the crunchy side, but I'll try to do my best to keep it making sense. This app is nice enough to tell us all of our available actions. There are plenty of actions you can do, depending on how many resources you have, but this, this app is nice enough just to give us the ones that we have available due to... Uh, what resources we have and it's helpful in that way sometimes because sometimes you're not sure what you can do like i can build a mine here and it'll tell me what resources i can burn in order to do that so it wants to me to burn a qic for range and a qic for an ore wouldn't be terrible I'm wondering if we should start saving so we can get some schools out and get some knowledge going what do we got for round tokens I think we should get in there and get back to this one I've lost my uh, partner. He's not giving me any help anymore. He's probably already given up on me. It's okay though. Hmm. All right. Let's do that. Since we do have a QIC income, I don't think that's a terrible idea. The other thing we can look at is how many different types of planets we are on. No, this is just buildings. I don't think there's anyone that's going to come close to us on this, but that being said, in Gaia planets. So now we are limited in our actions. It looks like pass is our only one. Hello, Tailwagon Games. Glad you could join in. They also have a fabulous stream. I think we're going to rely on this one a lot. So this one is going to give us straight up four. Or is this when you play? No, red is when you pass. So next time I pass with this token, I will get four victory points. I think that's legit. Yes, this is me versus the computer. Only because I'm streaming and I'm worried about just sort of like tech problems of people trying to join. I am going to try to get games against actual people on Board Game Arena and stuff. I did try it once the other day, but it, I'm just hypersensitive about people waiting for people to join or, you know, stuff not happening. But 
I'm going to try it again at another time. Because there's some nice games coming up on Board Game Arena. And there's some, some games that fill instantly. Like I could start playing Splendor games or Martian Dice or uh, other games that instantly fill. So we'll see. But I had a nice big block of time today, so I thought I would play something super crunchy. Yes, this is on Steam. It just came out a month ago. And I thought they did a fabulous job. The only thing I'm not overly fond of is how they, the buildings are sort of these, uh, like, blueprints it would have been nice if uh they were actual buildings retro map that's something new as well can i go to oh look at that let's use the retro map nice all right so that's something new too so you have to paul i have to apologize there's been a couple of patches that there are some new uh tabs i like that much better other people might like it the other way all right. What is it waiting for? It is waiting for me to confirm that I passed. Holy jumpins. Like I said, when I've done this, I'm going in to see if there's a toggle switch so I don't have to confirm every five seconds. While they're taking their turn, I can add up my federation points here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need to get to fourteen for my next federation. So, first things first. We have six power that we can spend, so we want to spend that before someone takes the good tokens. I think we want to take the three knowledge, which will burn a token out of here, but that's fine. Yes, this is a game that's been out for quite a few years, and people have been screaming for a digital implementation, and finally we have one. So you can see over here, here's our power. We're gonna burn one permanently out of here and that the seventh will slide in. So it'll allow us to get three knowledge of which we only need one for this round, but it'll help us out for the future rounds. Burn one to get the six. So yeah, there are, uh, I'm not sure, there are tons of different factions. So all sorts of different alien races you can play. Uh, at least 12, I believe. Even humans, and they all have different ways to play. Like I'm playing sort of like the bug race. So they start with their main building already in the map, and they sort of build out from there like one big giant federation. You know, and the other places have all sorts of rules only for them that they do. Some are good at mining or some are good at uh, collecting money, whereas they can spend money for any of the resources and all sorts of different special abilities that they can get. And it's usually all based around their main building. Once they get their main building out, then they can do better stuff. But we get to start with our main building, which is handy. All right, good luck, James. We'll see ya. All right, so the race for the power track is done. Now we just have to see if we're in trouble of losing a planet that we want this turn. I think we're all right. Earth planets, or I think maybe we want to jump over here sooner rather than later. I thought he would have had these snapped up already. Otherwise, I would have 
done that terraforming right away. It's not too, too late. Wonder if I should get, let's do that. Let's get that range. Confirm that. Then let's, we can put a mine there now, and it should cost us four ore. So expensive. All right, so it costs us four ore because, did that just happen? There was an undo, there we go. Okay, <laughs> oops, all right. So that costs us four ore because our terraforming rating is at three ore per right now. And you can make that better by going up this track. You can get it right down to one. So that means like for every step up here that is away from our home type of planet, it's going to cost us more ore to transform it into something that we can use. Our other option would be to wait and try to get this, which will give us a free terraforming step. But that will mean that we'd have to almost pass now. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this action. We're going to put a satellite out and we're going to put it in this direction, working towards this red planet or this red planet. I think we will put it here. Morning, Sue Park. And Jose, does Capstone's new version have any chances? Any chances at making it to North America? Any chances of, as far as I've, as soon as I've heard, everything is, is on its way and it's identical to, they've made no changes as far as I know, except for, uh, like, uh, cha uh, changes to the rule book. AI is very competitive. I have yet to beat, uh, AI on hard. I think I came in third once as opposed to fourth, but other than that, but I'm bad at this game. So that's not a good, uh, gauge bad. I'm bad, but this is why I'm playing more. It's, it's because I haven't been able to play it as much as I want. So now that that satellite is there in order to get here, it should only cost me one or so we will do that we want to put mines out because it takes them off our board which will give us more or income this is what we want over here we want to get our knowledge out yeah if you enjoy it I can't recommend this more. I have I have no issues with this app whatsoever. Except, like I said, I've already fixed the one thing that I didn't like about it. I didn't like this funky blueprint for the buildings. And now it has this. The only thing I wish it had was, if you go to 3D, does it make the buildings? Uh, they're a little bit 3D-ish. I never knew, understood what this point of this 3D is. It makes it kind of bubbly, but eh. So now I'm enjoying it that much more because of the retro buildings. Let's 
true. Well, they, there's Terra Mystica on so many platforms. So I'm not. There's one on Board Game Arena. I, I think does, does it have its own app? There's so many different places to play Terra Mystica. So I'm not sure which one exactly you mean. I have. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Steam does have a few. I'm not sure if Gaia Project went on sale. I think it's a game that I've always had on my list is uh, there, are, there are Billions. There are Millions. It's like a zombie defense game. Oh, the Steam app for Terra Mystica. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to take a look at that then. I don't think I've seen the dedicated app for it yet. I, like I said, I've just always preferred Gaia Project. So for those who don't know, Terra Mystica and Gaia Project are very similar the the main difference is that you can see the map is a little I feel is a little bit more open in Gaia Project. You're a little bit more locked down and have a bigger chance of getting uh, cut off in Terra Mystica. And then there's this track that is about fifty times better in Gaia Project than it is in Terra Mystica. All right, I think we're doing a good job of not getting cut off. I think our next satellite will be over here so we can get to this red planet. I think now we need to see if we can upgrade. We have yet to be offered to cycle power. That is one thing we are really lacking on of is and that is people upgrading buildings near us. I don't think we have even close to enough enough uh, spending knowledge oi 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 ah this might be an idea only because if we put out a school yeah board game arena is fantastic and whether or not it's a good thing asmodee owns it now i'm not sure i know you know Great Western Trail will soon be out on it. I've been playing it in Private Alpha, and it's I've yet to see a bug, and it's fantastic. The different windows and stuff they have going on there, and Splendor's on it now, and their big titles are coming out. Pandemic just came out as well. So, all right. So, what will happen if we burn that knowledge to put out a school? A school will allow us to get one of these tiles. If we choose the tile underneath a track uh we'll go up on that track if we choose one of these tiles here at the back then we get to go up on the track of our choice so yeah and it's really good i've learned that i have not played great western trail enough the games that i've played i've been once again, very bad, just because we've been cycling so much new stuff. I even, I gave my Great Western Trail to a good friend of mine. I wonder if I, I bought him horses. Did I get a chance to give him the horses yet? I'm not sure. Because there's a great, you can get horses on, on a website. So now we can put the cowboys. Here's the thing. If you're really big into Great Western Trail, put the horses on. And then when you get the bonus movement, off your tableau then you get to put your cowboy on the horse and that will remind you that you have your extra movement all right back to this game and it has it has these windows that pop up so you click on your hand and your hand pops up you click on uh the board window and your board slides out so they're not always on the on the screen that whoever's working on it i wish i should have his name handy so i can give him credit as well so he's doing a fantastic job on it and like i said and the the what you'll really like maybe i'm not sure maybe you didn't like the expansion but the expansion is already built in so fantastic all right sorry for those people who don't care about great western trail all right so back to what guy project i am going to push ahead and put that uh school out because uh, even though we'll burn the two knowledge, it'll, it'll in a way, in a way, uh, give us two knowledge because we'll go up a track anyway. 
So we'll go here, we're going to upgrade it, we're going to spend the knowledge. And that's like no resources, which is bad, but that's okay. Then we have to decide what we want to do. I think we should start terraforming because no one else seems to be doing it. Blue's gone up, but nobody else. This will give us an ore. We want no one's cycling for us, so we can just take one of, we'll take this and we'll just cycle ourselves. And we'll start terraforming. We can probably do that immediately. Uh, yes. All right. Which is good too because all of our power spent, and that's where it comes from. This is all good news. I wish, uh, I wish, uh, Caraba was still on and he could, you know, tell me that I'm doing a good job because I don't know if I am or not. We'll see at the end. How are we doing for points? We are in the lead for now. The other good thing about, oh, we can cycle now, but it would be pointless because we are going to do this first and we are going to terraform. Blue is the other one that has terraforming capability. So we need to go close to him first, which would be this one. And that will take six, you'll see on the screen, it'll take six power out of our pool here. And we'll get that back at the beginning of next turn. Now, what would be cool, uh, no, we're not going to cycle that. So this is the first time someone's upgraded a building close enough to us that it gives us the offer of cycling power. So this is how normally you get to move it through the cups is that someone upgrades a building, you sacrifice victory points in order to cycle power. But we are not going to do that because we only have two power and nothing costs two power. The best we can do is three and they're already all been used. So, uh, yeah, so Sioux Park, if you are completely interested in that, you can go to the Great Western Trail uh, forums on uh, Board Game Geek. You can try to find the thread for the Board Game Arena implementation, and you just send the guy a message on Board Game Arena, and he'll uh, invite you into the closed alpha, and you can start playing it right now. So I wonder, is there a reason for me to stay in this round longer? Like I can do this action to cycle the power just for the sake of doing it, to stay in a, a, another turn, but I don't see a reason why that would help me. And it's asking me whether I want to do that or not. Hmm. Sure, let's stay in because then we can see if one of these other ones open up to us because I don't like any of these. So we will cycle the power. And then hopefully, yeah, see, so he passed. So whatever token he had, there we go. So it did actually help us, unless the robot just took uh, took what we wanted. There's our the terraforming one that we want. So there you go. So it helped staying in the round a little bit longer.
we are in round four of six. I am totally not keeping track of the round bonuses. This round coming up. So it is actually round four now. So round four, <clears throat> three points every time we upgrade a trading station. So maybe we shall focus on that. So let's cycle. Do we have something we want for three right now before it's too late? Nope. Let's cycle our power. What if we can hop in here? Interesting. Well, and what I'm thinking is uh, there is a Federation token that will give us two knowledge. So if we push for our, f our Federation this round, we will also be able to get an upgrade. A tech. Which will... take range which will not only give us a QIC which will cycle three yeah this is all all what I want how far are we away from a federation uh, go this way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we are one away so either a place a satellite or B upgrade a, a station let's upgrade a station because here we don't have enough money. That was weird. That gets us victory points as well. Now we should be able to build a federation with our no money. I'm going to blame someone. It's somebody's fault. I have no money because it can't be mine. I'll blame Mark. Uh, uh, we are going to do that because because money. Hopefully uh, it hasn't been taken yet. It's been taken. That's also Mark's fault. Why don't we have the Federation symbol? Did I miscount? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I am missing something. Okay, that button takes me to the official FAQ. Interesting. What am I missing? Why can't I form a federation? All right, well, moving on. Let's make 
this into a line. Cycle two in an or, that's fine. directive yes give me more power finally I've been allowed to cycle power it's because they're too far away from each other but then I could just place satellites this is very confusing to me Hmm. Well, there's another way to get to knowledge. True. I see what you're saying now. Maybe I need... It's the currency thing. See, because I still need to spend money, I need to get on the everything's free. That's the problem, is because we have currency. Once we get rid of our currency, then the Federation will come and ask us to join. It's maybe because I bombed that Vulcan planet. Maybe that's why they're upset. I don't know. I'll have to work on this and see what's going on. All right. Long story short, we still have a chance to cycle power, so I don't want to ditch it all into our terraforming yet. We have our free terraforming rating, but we have no money. We have our satellite action, which we will use to get closer to this red planet. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's too far away. Ugh, just don't know. I'm gonna put it there. See if that uh, fixes the problem. Do I want to lose more victory points for cycling power? How are we doing for victory points? 30 still has us in the lead. Why are these guys so low? They're on hard. All right, well, maybe I'm going to get blown out at the end. Cycle power. Maybe I'll still get... That was dumb. Can I go back? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because... There are just no actions left to do, so there's no point. All of the actions have been taken. Yeah, no point. Do you know what we can do, though? We can score another Federation. Uh... There we go. See, that was the problem. This trading station was out of my range. That is why I couldn't form the Federation. All right. So let's do this. And since I already have the foreknowledge, I can do it for money. Uh, it wants us to form the Federations first. There, there, and there. Oh, and there? Cannot afford satellites. What do you mean? Can't afford satellites. One, two, three. Smaller Federation subset exists. 
I'm having trouble. With this forming federation thing. Hmm. There is no way to form a smaller one. It is really messing me up. The counterexample is using more, not less. All right, I don't know what's going on. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to keep... Uh... Gaia Project is more newbie-friendly than Terra Miscarite. Uh, that's a good question. Probably. I would say so. So I have to connect these planets together somehow with satellites so they're 14. And it is saying... And according to this, I have nine power that I can burn for satellites. Not enough powerless. So there's, so I see. So it wants me to get to 14. So there. Okay. So that's valid. Oh, I, okay. I'm wondering if it is because I was trying to connect this one and saying, well, you're burning satellites that you don't need to. Probably. Jeez Louise. All right. Once again, it is... It better not use that 2QIC. Why? Wow. I'm so confused. I'm so angry right now. All right, give me my money. It will, for whatever reason, needed to uh, QIC to do that. I don't know why. Maybe it's something to do with my uh, faction that I didn't read. We'll just let it go. I'll look into it later. Moving on. This is still upgrading for bonus victory points. What can I still do? I can still use this, which I have not done yet, which I should. Two money and an ore to put in another mine. Will do. I still have my knowledge, which will cycle more power. Which I don't want to do right now, because it'll be a waste. Although, it'll just give me more for next turn. So, that's fine. Let's go up in uh, knowledge. Give me that range that I want. And then we can still... Oh... Was a waste. Because I just realized if I want to terraform this turn, it's going to take it all out of that. Not going to undo. I'm going to. What's it going to cost me to upgrade? 
all sorts of badness. Not going to do that. Hmm. I think I want to do it anyway. Why do I want to do it anyway? Because at the end of the game, we're going to get points here. I'm not that far away. The leader's at three, I'm at one. I can get that back if I start, if I don't fall behind now. So uh, let's quickly look at research. Once again, it's only blue. So this is the only thing that they're close to. I might as well take that away from them. And that is that. I think I am out of stuff that I can do. And I might as well take the thing that's giving me victory points. I think that's that. Second to last round. Needs to be the least number. Yeah, I, yeah, like that's what it was here. It was over here in this section here. It just didn't want me to connect this leg over here. I was using satellites where I could have just added just this single one. I thought I needed to add this to get to the 14, but I didn't. That was the problem. So next up, I need 21 now. Does it tell me when I click on the screen? Oh, it does. I'm at 14 of 21. Okay, I didn't see that before. Uh, cycling right off the beginning, sure. All right, game, first things first, taking knowledge actions. I do have four. If I take knowledge, I'll have enough to go up, so I will. Yeah, I'm upset that I had to spend that extra QIC. Because I really wanted to rescore some of my uh, victory points this turn. Cycle two. Ugh, I gotta get all seven out of there. I'm not gonna waste victory points on that. Not this turn. All right. Can I get to 21 with what I have? I wonder. Let's get another school, shall we? What have I got here? Okay, never mind. Cycling four. That's okay. I'll still pass on that. That's fine. This turn, we're going to get victory points for upgrading to an academy. Oof. Maybe an idea. How much is that going to cost us? Everything. Um, I want the QIC. Six and six. Oh, it's going to hurt. I think it's worth the victory points. See if it's a mistake. It is also going to get us another one of these. I think as uh, this race, I would like to have this one. It will also get me the QIC that I want. That puts us up to 17 of 21 already. 
but no resources. It's okay. It's okay. We now have another action that will get us another QIC. Forty-one. We're losing to the humans. We're at forty-two. We do need to. If we score another Federation marker. What federation? There we go. We can get more ore or more money. I think that's worth it. Seven points and two ore. And then that will allow us to build on another green planet. And that will put us at two. Look at that. Three of us tied at 10 buildings. Am I down to, no, okay. Then we can get a research. didn't actually get the extra range yet. That's fine. satellite so we make the satellite so there'll be less there but I think we want the satellite one two so we can hit this planet over here and this one here so one two one, two no no Mike that's not where you wanted it back up Here, here. One, two, one, two. Okay. You just have absolutely zero of everything. But we can terraform another planet. And now pass is our option. Going into the last round, of course the one, oh, we, we get the four points, but then, um, this is for every Gaia planet we've colonized, sure. And we get the extra money, sounds like a plan.
56 to 42. Could have sworn the hard AI were crushing me more. Maybe it was just the help at the beginning I got. Look at this income. Oh, yeah, 11 knowledge. To <laughs> I'm dumb. Got, got one knowledge. All right. Last turn. What shall we do? Do a four power. I think we should get the ore. Then we'll cycle and we'll try to hit that last Federation, I guess. Or should we go for more buildings? And try to beat everyone out of that 12. We're really going to lose a lot of points under research. We've got green getting a ton of points across the board. We've got brown getting a lot of points across the board. We are only up in one. Not great. If we upgrade another school, I should we take the seven. Get another QIC, I guess. I'm not sure. We definitely want to eventually take that as well. Is there just a green planet that we can no? Look at this. Almost every planet has something on it. It's crazy. So let's. Oh, we're going to get a QIC from that as well. That's hot like a curry. All right, so let's put out this satellite here, which should now give us range for that. See, this, this is why humans are evil. Did you see what just happened there? We were looking. I was looking... I was looking right at it, and the human took it. <sighs> it's not right. It's not right. <laughs> all right. Let's see what other options we've got. They're all bad options. Can't believe they did that. What are we at now? 10 or down down to the bottom need more buildings they don't even care what buildings do they they just want buildings most structures yeah should be structure points how much is that going to cost me or or it's just wrong I don't like it. Humans did that. The selfishness, selfishness of humans. Yeah, that view actually did not show terraforming. It is a structure. They really should count it. What's the problem? Why can't I build a mine there? 
Am I out of minds? Because you're out of minds, Mike. That's why. So we will be upgrading a building. We shall cycle. Uh, 58 to 50. We are now tied and they just did something that jumped them a lot of points. So they are well ahead now. Look at 50 points. They've jumped far ahead. Robots just jumped to 43 points. Are we going to be able to hit another? We have to hit a federation. We have to hit that 12 or else we're going to be done. We're at 17 of 21. We have to get four points somehow oof so first things first we're going to upgrade a building Then we're going to build that mine. I don't think we have enough. We're not going to have enough. Another federation. Brown. Jumps them to 658 points. Uh, I don't like how this works. We have more than enough. Never mind. Cannot afford satellites. What does that even mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, I have more than enough. What is the problem? So yeah, I think there is a thing with my faction, something about burning power and QIC. So I wonder if I get this third QIC, maybe it'll let me. I should read what is going on here. Here it is here, including building satellites and gaining fetters. To build a satellite during this action, you must spend one QIC instead of discarding one power. So there we go. This is what the whole problem was before. I have to burn QIC instead of power. This is the power of reading. But that's okay. 
still get the 12. I won't be able to have, I won't have the QIC to I won't have the QIC to uh, rescore it, but that's fine. I still might not have enough. Oh, there we go. Satellite's not connected. Ugh, this thing sometimes drives me nuts. What is the problem now? All right. All right, it just wanted me to connect that. I just wish it was more transparent on what it wanted. Add that, take the 12 points because it's the last round. And my turn. Sorry that's taking so long, guys. We'll see if we can pull this out. We're in the lead by a whole three points, but like I showed you on the, did, okay, there's the robots, 63, as worried that the humans just formed another federation. That would, all right, let's see. What do I have left to do? How are we doing on structures? Second place. Can't see there being a way to. Burning a bunch of stuff. Well, I don't need that knowledge. This is the best bet. That's one thing I like about this app. Like it, it figures out ways to do stuff that you wouldn't like burning a ton of power and knowledge and ways to do stuff. Now I'll have a mine back and maybe there's a way I can get another mine out. Cycling power. Three victory points. No, don't do it, Mike. It's a trap. Is there no way to put out another billet, another mine? There's just no ways to do it. I think that's it. I think we pass and hope for the best. Probably a mistake. There might be something else I can do, but I don't see it. So we'll see. That is the end. Humans are at 81. It's not good. They are the ones that are going to get the 18. I'm dropped down to zero points now for structures. See? See what I mean? I have last place. I am a good uh, 40 points. 40 points out. So this is another good, a lot of the apps that are coming out now don't break down scoring. This breaks down everything. This is how much power I burned, how many points I burned for power. Where's the big ones here? So I think I didn't get a few points there. Here's points. Standard tech tiles.
this is where I always lose points. There's the research levels that we already talked about. So there we go. That is Gaia Project. Hopefully next time it won't be so bad. Thought I would at least come in third on that one. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Walker. I am one half of So Very Wrong About Games. We do a pod podcast every week. So if this commentary interests you whatsoever, check out the podcast. Check out the stream. I hop on every so often. Normally we do every Saturday at 1030. We need to take the next few weeks off, but we will be back again every Saturday at 1030 Eastern Time. I will see you next time. Peace out. We're going to see who we can raid. I got to remember to do that got to be you know a nice streamer make sure you do the rules i forgot to check out no i did look into it there was no way for me to see it someone doing x-wing someone playing baseball someone playing fleet i haven't been able to check out fleet i've heard nothing but good things about fleet so I will send you there, copy that. Hopefully that is on its way because it does not tell me otherwise. I will send you to my next time screen because I will see you next time.